What's up, guys? Well, uh, that second half sucked, didn't it? Um, really no other way to put it. Um, sucks to lose to a division rival that I dislike so much after they already beat us once this year. It probably was our, one of our worst losses of the season. Um, to come back and just in the first half to look great. We look great in the first half. We're putting it on them. You know, um, not giving them much at all on the running game. Uh, we were just, you know, forcing it downfield at will. Um, and then in a typical fashion for this season, come out in the second half and just mess it all up. Um, there's a few different reasons we lost this game today. Uh but, I mean, essentially it was a replay of the Detroit game a few weeks ago. Uh, just the same kind of thing. Uh, we built up a, a solid, very solid lead in the first half. Come out in the second and just have everything go wrong. Just not, we just can't sustain what we're doing uh, in, a, in a good first half. Uh, I don't know. Props to Atlanta, though, because... That they came out and made some big time adjustments and uh, took advantage in the second half. Looks like that they'll they'll they took a good step toward uh, getting that wild card in the NFC today. Um, I just wish we could finish games, you know. And, and I'm sure it'll probably come. I, I mean, looking at the team, it, they have a lot of talent, and it's obvious. It's very obvious. And I think next year. Uh, we should have some of these mistakes corrected and should be able to finish some games. Uh, hopefully be playoff bound and all that. But just sitting here in the moment, just seeing that collapse is it's tough to watch. Um, okay. Give a few uh, reasons here. Well, it started off with, uh, you know, Cam showed some inaccuracy, some just showed some of his being a rookie really in the second half came out uh, was a little bit impatient you know made a few bad throws uh, the one that he just tried to flip to Jonathan Stewart and got picked off you just absolutely can't do something like that and that's just it, that's something that he's going to beat himself up about uh, and, and the only thing that can correct something like that is time uh, time and experience uh, you know, uh, if he if he could have played the second half like he played the first, we would have won easily, most likely. Um, but, you know, you can't put it all on his shoulders either. I mean, uh, the, the defense gave up a lot of huge plays in the second half, especially the uh, two Julio Jones touchdowns. Uh, the one that was really long, horrible missed tackle, uh, but... Uh, some of their points where where they climbed back into the game early in the second half was due to the uh, cam interceptions. I mean, he gave the Falcons a short field to work with, and uh, turned it into points. So they come back on cam, but uh, you know later in that uh, in that second half, not been able to come back ourselves and try to put the game away. A little bit more on the defense, you know. Big time on Olinda Mari, my gosh. <sighs> that was probably one of the worst missed field goals I've seen in quite some time. He just, uh, I mean, it looked like a good snap and hold, I, I'm pretty sure, but he just uh, completely missed it badly. Uh, very badly. <sighs> Missing John Casey. You know, I, I mean, I know Mare has been giving us a lot of touchbacks. Casey probably couldn't do that. But Casey doesn't miss those type of field goals. Um, so, really unfortunate. It's going to be interesting to see what they do in the offseason with him because he, he's shown that he can't make a, a field goal when it counts the most. Uh, and uh, they signed him to a four-year contract worth pretty pretty big money for a kicker. Uh, he's just, it's going to see uh, if they decide to stick with him or if they try to eat the contract and uh, sign another kicker. I don't know. 
it seems like something is just in his head right now and just not kicking very well at all. Um, oh, I am so frustrated. Uh, I thought we had a reasonable chance. I mean, not likely, but reasonable to win out. Uh, it was there. You know, um, I thought, I was hoping we could at least beat the Falcons today. That would have been really nice to see. And uh, I was fairly confident that we could probably beat the Texans next week. But, you know, they had a pretty decent game today, it looks like. Uh, TJ Yates threw them down and won uh, against the Bengals in a last-second uh, touchdown pass. So, who knows? Uh, nothing's a sure thing. And uh, we'll see if we can uh, get a few more wins. You know, on the plus side of that, if, if we do, uh, if we are unable to win a few more games down the stretch it'll set us up for a better uh, draft pick come April and uh, we'll be in position hopefully for a, a, a top 10 and if we, if we lose keep losing probably a top five um, but I think if we can stay in that top 10 range it'd be it'd be pretty good um, but you know just I just want to win just want to see winning games first half was just so exciting today you know I was into it um, Fun to watch, just all around. The defense, the defense played so well in the first half. They were uh, rushing to tackle, uh, tackle the ball carriers, really flying to the ball, playing with a lot of energy. Um, especially with you know having but losing both of our starting uh, defensive tackles last week, and then our backups, sort of reserves like practice squad guys, coming in having a pretty good get, a pretty good day on the in the first half. But uh, just absolutely falling apart in the in the second. So maybe they got tired. Maybe they just uh, don't really have the the talent to hold together as a unit yet. Just mainly because of all the injuries. I mean, it, if we'd had our guys out there, it would it probably would have been a different story. But you know, defense is probably going to be the focus of uh, the off season. Uh, but offensively for the team, I did want to mention. Uh, the play calling kind of went went to trash the second half. Um, I mean, there were Cam's mistakes, like I've already mentioned. That was that was big, but it just seemed like we went ultra conservative in the second half, and we can't do that. We we got complacent on offense. We have to keep the foot on the gas when you have a team down in this league. You can't let up. And uh, I think some of our creative uh, play calling kind of went out the window. Uh, in the second half, and uh, that contributed as well to the loss. Uh, so, that's about all I got. Uh, oh, well, I guess we'll just move on. Got three games left. To go. Hard to believe we only have three games left to go this season. Season has just flown by. Um, at least the NBA is back, so we won't have a have a have the NFL go to off season and then just be nothing until, you know, next summer. So have something to entertain us. But uh, I guess just leave your thoughts, comments, anything you want uh, down below in the comment section. Be sure to subscribe if you haven't already. And uh, yeah, I am uh, going to be heading out of LA on Saturday coming up Saturday the 17th. I'm heading out, uh, coming home to North Carolina for the holidays. Um, so I'll, I also have uh, tickets to the uh, Buccaneers game on Christmas Eve, so I'll be there at that game. Uh, it'll be my only game this season. It just I've been used to the past several years, been going to you know three or four games a year, and uh, not having been to one this year is, has been tough because uh, those are a lot of fun. But... Um, I'll be there, and uh, so I doubt I'll get a preview out this week because it's going to be really busy leading up to me uh, leaving, but I'll, I'll try to. I hadn't gotten any previews out the last few weeks, but I kind of stopped because we were winning, and I don't like to change up many things when we're actually winning games. So that's kind of one reason why I didn't do one this past week. Just didn't want to jinx it, but we lost anyway. So maybe, maybe not, um, but we'll talk to you soon. And uh, everybody have a good week. Go Panthers.